so in today's video we are going to discuss about the convex concave rule convex concave rule is the theoretical basis for determining the direction of mobilizing force when joint gliding techniques or mobilization are used now before get into the convex concave rule we first need to know the orthokinematics or the joint surface movement so there are three joint surface movement which are slide or glide roll and spin now first is slide or glide a slide is a translatory motion in which the same point on the moving joint surface comes in contact with new points on the opposing surface and all points on the moving surface travel the same amount of distance the second joint surface movement is roll now a roll is a rotatory motion in which new points on the moving joint surface comes in contact with new points on the opposing surface the axis of rotation is also moved here in this case the axis is moved to the right the third joint surface movement is called spin now a spin is a rotatory motion in which all the points on the moving surface rotate around a fixed central axis the points on the moving surface closer to the axis will travel a smaller distance than the points farther from this axis so the point here will travel less distance than the point here now the representation of concave convex rule so here in the first diagram you can see a convex joint surface is moving over a concave joint surface so when it is moving let's see the angular movement is occurring in this direction so in this case the roll will occur in the same direction but the slide will occur in opposite direction so if a convex joint surface is moving the convex surface will roll in same direction as the angular motion of the shaft of the bone but will slide in opposite direction now in the second figure you can see a concave joint surface is moving over a convex joint surface so here if the angular movement occurred in this direction the roll and the slide will occur in same direction so if a concave joint surface is moving the concave surface will roll and slide in the same direction as the angular motion of the shaft of the bone now what is the main importance of this rule so imagine you are applying mobilization technique to a specific joint and you want to increase the range of motion in a specific direction so when you know this rule it will help you to choose the direction and give mobilization in that specific direction that's all for the video thank you for watching